Kill him. On this episode, we're duck hunting, but it's a little different. Because over in Scotland, you hunt ducks at night. I'm talking using the moon as a backdrop in order to see the birds. So stay tuned for this unique duck hunting experience. So you, you came out over here to throw? Yeah. It's like a boat. An island of the castle. Damn. Ready? Yep. at least five, five ducks. There's one, there's one on the island, I think, eh? Yeah, we got a couple down by us, too. Oh, greenhead. Had to travel all the way across the, the world for that sucker. It's a big one. Nice one. Curls. Curls for the girls. Beautiful birds. <laughs> Get on, Tess. Where is it? Find it up. up. We use a whole fleet of dogs, mostly comprised of English cockers, to try and find every downed bird. This here is Zara. She's Christian's English cocker, and she's one hell of a bird dog. One cool thing about Scotland is you have the ability to take a Eurasian green winged teal. Now, this teal is technically a subspecies of the American green-winged teal. You'll notice that the Eurasian differs from the American in that it has a horizontal white stripe across its back as opposed to a vertical white stripe on its chest. For once, I don't know what to say, actually, you know? Oh, sorry, I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, so, yeah, just heading out to the evening duck hunt. We're gonna be shooting a splash tonight for ducks and geese. 
Um, we're going to be laying out on backboards in a group of socks. We'll have duck decoys out. Probably going to have geese coming first. And there's no wind, so it'll be what it'll be. Where we need to hunt, there's no cover whatsoever, so we need to hide in the socks um, just to try and stay as hidden as possible. Um, also, it gives us the best opportunity to hunt ducks that way too because where we are, it's a little further off the edge, you know, field edge where we could hide. Um, we haven't had the water, so there's not the same amount of um, water that would allow us to hunt closer to the, the field edge. So being out in the middle of the field, we can be right <clears throat> where the splashes and kind of where the birds want to be. So um, hopefully, if things line up, maybe get a few goes at the geese. Um, and then hopefully we get a good few goes at the ducks because this is our first time, you know, hunting this. And um, when we're laid out in the spread, um, I found it works really well for uh, for hunting ducks. So we'll see how it goes. There's geese just over the hill there. So I kind of have to be canny, canny, fanny. Just don't make hold. All right, so we're taking. Backboards, socks, backers, oh, and goose We're getting here kind of late. It's night number two shooting ducks. Still so weird to leave so late, but should be good. There's supposed to be some geese coming into here to roost too, so we'll see what happens. Kill the duck. Out front, out front. Kill him. Out high. Hey, what a shot. Who is that? Kill him. It was badass. Backpedaling. I know we got some widgeon, so pretty excited for that. Four widgeon over here. Eurasian widgeon. Yeah, just gonna hold it. Here, for pop. Here, here. Oi. Good girl, huh? Good girl. Get in, girl. That's right. Get in, get in. Dead, dead. 
not a mounter, but immature Drake. There's an immature Drake right here. Huh? Is that a Drake one, is it? Yeah. You get getting real late in the winter, that gets roofed out, right? The Eurasian Widgeon. Definitely a highlight of the duck hunting over in Scotland. Well, that's it, big night. Got them good. It's pretty sweet. Got some widgeon, bunch of green heads. Some geese even came in. It was sick.